Hi there. So, this is the 12 volt boost converter that I was mentioning in the thread. So, if you see here, it's uh, it's a tiny little thing. It's very easy to fit. I'm eventually going to put it inside the mount. Uh, the way I've got it wired up here, just temporarily for uh, demonstration purposes, is I've got the positive side of the internal battery pack here, the negative side here. That's going into the input of the boost converter. The output of the boost converter is then going down here through some alligator clips and such, basically so I can end up with the output on a barrel connector like this. Now the reason that I'm doing that is for this demonstration is to show that uh, the way this mount works is it will actually bypass the battery pack when something is plugged into the uh, barrel connector port down here. So with nothing's plugged in there, when I power it on, it'll just use the batteries, and then as soon as I plug something into the battery, uh, the barrel connector, it'll disconnect the battery pack internally, and basically it'll run off the batteries through the boost converter. So we can do a direct comparison of uh, the difference between the two. So right now, without the barrel connector in there, we're going to go and power the mount up. Now these batteries have been used for a couple nights, and so they're run down somewhat. So you'll see the mount goes ahead and comes up, and our motor speed is set to 9. And now if we slew the mount, you'll hear that it sounds very uh, bogged down. I mean, it's moving, it's doing okay, but it is not, certainly not running at its full capacity. And in fact, if I were to get a multimeter and check the battery pack, it'd be running at about 10 volts right now. So we're about 2 volts under the uh, uh, ideal. So with the mount still on, I'm just going to take and plug in the barrel connector here. So now we're going to start using the boost converter. So now it's, we're powered off the boost converter, and I want you to hear the difference between uh, the movement now. Notice that it's running as if it's on full power, and there's no dropouts, there's no chattering. We're getting full power out of this 10 volt battery pack. And if I check over here, obviously that wasn't a lot of slewing, but we're not getting any extra heat here either. So it's not like we're drawing so much power through the boost converter. This is a 5 amp uh, maximum input current, and I don't think that we're drawing even half of that uh, off this pack. So what that means is that I'll be able to draw these batteries down even further than if I didn't have the boost converter on there and I can save some money on batteries. It also means I can fill up this compartment with rechargeable batteries and I can use them without having to add an extra two batteries to get the full 12 volts. So my plan is to actually open up this mount, take the boost converter, mount it inside in line from the battery pack to um, where it normally collects inside and then have that just be the default when it's running off batteries it runs through this boost converter and when it runs off the external power it'll just run off that battery without any boosting. So hope that was useful.